Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a mommy vlogger. I like to vlog about being an abundant family, taking care of my two kiddos, my work schedule, virtual learning, anything mommy related. If you like to see those types of videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below and answer every single comment. We are just gonna go through the haul right now. Um, my, what? my son's birthday is next week, and on Sunday we're gonna do like a little drive-by and hand out cupcakes and little travel walking tacos since his birthday theme is taco tuesday um instead of having like a big party right now especially during like the spike of covid season and ali is like really prone to getting like rsv and the cold and stuff like that so i am not going to risk him getting sick so we're just going to do a quick drive by and hand people boxes and stuff like that but i wanted to show you guys what i got i still want to decorate my window i ended up taking out everything down from christmas like the day after christmas because i was just fed up with it um and yeah i ordered all this stuff and i'm going to decorate my window for the drive by so i'm going to show you guys everything um i think i'm going to also i have like this big box from ollie's basketball net i'm thinking i'm gonna make like little cactuses and try to do like a background so i could take ollie's to your pictures um this week so if you would like to see that let me know and i'll put it in the next video um but yeah let's get into like this little haul real quick ollie's still sleeping so i'm trying to get this done before he wakes up because he likes to play with everything and then we can see him when he gets up. So these are the little boxes that I'm going to put the cupcakes in. So I got a bunch of different colors to do a fiesta. They pretty much look like this when they're all done. And then I also bought stickers to go on top that says, thanks for coming to our fiesta. They just open up and they can fit pretty much two cupcakes in there. So I'm going to put two in each and then put a couple of snacks in there as well with it. I just have to make all these boxes, so... <laughs> That should be fun and then along with that like i said we're going to be doing walking tacos if you don't know what walking tacos are they're pretty much like a bag of doritos and then you just add all of your ingredients into the bag and you walk around with the tacos and eat it with the doritos i got these containers from amazon so i'm going to put the meat lettuce cheese queso guacamole salsa anything you can possibly think of to put in here i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna separate like the main things like salsa and sour cream and stuff like that into little containers and then the meat into another container and then the cheese and the all that stuff will just be laid out so people can add what they want and throw out what they don't i guess um and then the bag of doritos on the side and then i also got these water um bottle labels i don't know if i'm actually gonna put them on the water or if i'm gonna try and put them on soda or something some kind of drink that i can hand out as well um but it says talk about fun which is really cute but lastly um i'm not really gonna open these right now because i don't want them to be open and get ruined um but i can pop up on the screen what it actually looks like um but i got a couple of these banners that have like um cactuses this one actually says like taco tuesday on it it's got guitars and stuff like that just like festive little banners and then i got these to put in the window the little fans this is a balloon kit that says taco tuesday um and it's got like a huge cactus um balloon with it as well and then we have his cake topper that says two so um that is his little haul we got a cake and 24 cupcakes to hand out we're not having like a bunch of people come it's just like the main people who have been around since this whole quarantine but again like we're pretty much like this whole week we haven't really even seen anybody we're trying to quarantine away from anybody because of everybody partying for new year's um we just stayed in and did our own thing but everybody else did like parties and stuff so we're pretty much like quarantining until his birthday to see how anybody feels and of course i'm gonna put it out there if anybody feels sick or if they've been around anybody that had covid please just don't come and again it's only a drive-by um 
So we're literally just handing them their stuff and they're just going on their way. Um, but we figured that would be something cute for Ollie's birthday. Um, it's better than nothing at this point because it's Lily's birthday. We pretty much just passed over for her 10th birthday with nothing at all. Um, and I felt really bad, but that's just how it's gonna happen with this quarantine stuff. So, um, that's his mini haul. And I'm pretty sure he's like awake, so I'm gonna go get him. Um, but I'm gonna make myself a coffee when he gets down here because lately I've been needing that to give myself a little push um if i don't do that i'm pretty much just i'm just so unmotivated what i'm just so unmotivated to do anything so i've been drinking coffee and i pretty much like cleaned my whole basement i didn't film it um my whole basement is finished and it looks amazing um if you haven't seen my organizing my baby toys video then um i said that we we're going to turn the basement into a gaming spot for anthony we're actually looking into getting like a desktop and i'm gonna do like a corner down there for like desks and put his put a tv there and everything else so um that's what we're thinking of doing and making that spot all his because lily pretty much gave all her toys to like my nieces so now there's like nothing down there so we figured that could be a, a spot for anthony to just relax after work or during the weekends or whatever um so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go make myself a coffee and some breakfast i don't know what i'm having yet still waiting here's the thing all right with ollie like he'll move move around a little bit and then he'll just stop and just his eyes are closed he's not really up yet but then i'm thinking oh my god i should go up there and get him because you know you shouldn't leave your child upstairs for no reason and i just don't know if he's up yet <laughs> because he isn't actually up but he's moving around i'm so confused and i can't see his face because he covers his face with a blanket all right, well, I also wanted to say that we are currently starting into potty training. I got a bunch of stuff ordered on Amazon that will be here today and Wednesday. And if you would like to see, like, how we're starting potty training or what we're doing to potty training, please let me know. And then um, another thing that I wanted to add to, like, my what we want to help with Ollie this year is cleaning up his toys. I think I started this really early with lily um but every time he's done playing with something we ask him to put it away and then he can play with something else like yesterday he wanted to play with his play-doh but he had all his cars on the floor he picked up his cars and then we sat down and played with play-doh so that is what we're starting to do and he's doing really well with that and he's actually really doing well with the potty training as well um, like I said, it's not like full-blown potty training where it should happen in like three days. We're just introducing more steps to it. Like he's actually sitting on there while we're reading a book and he tries to push and stuff. Um, but I don't want him to like strain himself. But he's pretty much like really trying to like go to the bathroom. But we're trying to do that more often. So I got like a timer and stuff to like put myself on a timer so every hour i'm gonna take him up but i don't have any of the supplies yet so i'm waiting for it but that's like what i'm trying to do but he's doing really well every morning i take him and put him on the potty every time he goes um before he takes his nap after his nap before he goes to bed we're trying to put him on there uh once my supply starts rolling in i'll put him in there more often and try and see if he will actually sit there and go to the bathroom we'll just see because i i want to see how he reacts to that um but yeah those are all things i could record if you guys would like to see those types of videos just let me know in the comment section down below i have a lot going on so i will would love to share it with you guys um yeah i think he's fully up now he's actually like up so i'm gonna go grab him make some coffee make breakfast and then i'll see you guys for playtime Life Zero. is a winding Number. road. Five. Excellent. No telling where it goes. Double. Fed. 
Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights See you later I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my heart I lost my mind. Whoa. I will keep on holding my head high. Even the sky is falling down. Alright, so it's around 9 o'clock. Ollie's actually watching Angry Birds because it's like one of his new favorite movies. I guess it reminds him of his dad. Um, I know I showed you my haul, but like I ended up going on Amazon and buying a couple more things just because um, I didn't think of anything to put behind my wall to do like a background for his pictures. So I ended up buying like um, Fiesta type like cupcake toppers along with like a fiesta backdrop with balloons and then like a balloon arch a little overboard but it's his birthday so i wanted to do that so i could show you guys what exactly i bought real quick like it's not going to be here until the end of the week so. so i bought these cupcake toppers this balloon arch Comes with like balloons that say Fiesta and like cactus themed balloons. So that is the back. So that's the backdrop and all the balloons and the cake topper or the cupcake toppers. Thank you. <laughs> um, so that's a couple more things that I bought. Yeah. 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 What are they doing with the balloons? Are they calling a truce? <gasps> Say. <gasps> he loves this movie. All right, well, um, we were playing with some cars and drawing for a bit and he pretty much like um, got distracted. He asked for the movie because he handed me the remote. I turned everything off and we were just playing for a while, um, for an hour and a half, and he decided he wanted to sit down and watch a movie real quick. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna have lunch ready by 10.30, so then he has an hour between lunch and his nap. Um, if you guys would like to see a, an updated like day in the life of a toddler, like my almost two year old, please let me know and I'll definitely do that because um, his routine is a lot different than what it was a year ago, um, especially because now he only has one nap instead of two, um, and I don't know, he, we're trying to work on, um, independent play and stuff like that, and potty training, as you guys know, and he doesn't have his binky anymore, um, well, we're still working on that, but he doesn't have it throughout the day other than naps and sleeping, um, so if you guys would like to see an updated version of that, I could totally do that. What's that, your tongue? Um, I also forgot to mention this morning that we are going to pick up Lily around 3.30. She's at school today and it's Monday, so I have to pick her up. Uh, so we'll see her a little later. Also, Ollie got a haircut and he moved a lot during it and now it's a bowl haircut. <laughs> So hopefully it grows in a little bit and doesn't look as crazy. Um, but I scheduled his next appointment with his dad and Lily's also getting a hair haircut next month. So that is that update. I'm actually thinking of cutting all my hair off, but I'm kind of like 
nervous with a toddler and like trying to get pregnant and having a newborn with a very short hair so i don't really know if i want to do that or not but like i need something to frame my face because this is just getting out of hand it's just plain and straight and it's just kind of like annoying so i'm thinking of cutting it with like a long a long bob with like bangs around my face maybe long bangs i don't know uh Maybe. In my last clip, I did show that like Ollie pointed to himself and that he pooped. We ended up going upstairs and that's why he has no pants on. Um, and put him on the toilet. I mean, I wiped him off and everything before I put him on the toilet and we read his book. But he let me know that he went to the bathroom and he usually doesn't do that. So that was a big step towards potty training. Um, like I said earlier, I have a lot of stuff coming in from Amazon and I could do a haul with that too like in a later video when I get it all but I'm thinking this is actually might work out that he is ready for potty training because he wasn't showing any signs but now he seems very into going on the potty I mean not really so when he wakes up in the morning or after his nap because he's like miserable um but during the day he does a really good job of going in there sitting on the potty reading his book trying to go then he wants to wash his hands, flush the toilet, stuff like that. So it's very interactive to get him to do his thing. Um, but I think it's actually working. So that worked out and now he has no pants on because we're gonna be doing it again very soon. <laughs> pretty much only ate the quinoa and left everything else. We'll try again later. I just tried to make the chicken and it's still frozen on the inside so I have completely failed at that. We're just gonna order Chinese for dinner tonight. Anthony is already almost done. Luckily his route has been split into two so now he's not working until six or seven o'clock at night. He's already taking his break right now and he should be home in an hour. I have to go pick up Lily by 3.30. Um, Ollie is still sleeping um, so I'm watching like Bridgington because I heard so many good things about that. Um, as of right now, I don't really like it, to be honest, uh, but I'm gonna keep watching and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, that's a little update of what's going on right now. I feel like a total dumbass because the chicken is not happening. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. Are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. We 
should be good, but we keep out of fires. No words for beat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires round ourselves, it's deja vu. Okay, so we, my hair is just getting progressively worse as the day goes on. Um, we played with Play-Doh and, move that out of the way. We played with Play-Doh and had dinner, Lily's here, we're enjoying the time with Lily while she's just playing on her hoverboard. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. And don't forget to look out for Ollie's second birthday vlog. I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new vlog. Bye, guys.